Hi YouTubers, it's Smoking SE787 again for the first video, first video today. I'm going to do the usual. Uh, this is part uh, two in my series of Aging Cigars. Okay, part two. Uh, one to three years. So now we're covering um, Aging Cigars at Home, one to three years, and Aging Cigars in the Factory, one to three years. Okay, <clears throat> to start off at home, um, when you age a cigar more than, more than a year, so um, one to three years, um, some of the changes you're going to notice is obviously, <clears throat> excuse me, um, more of the harmful ammonia is going to be bro bro broke down, you know, over the years. Um, you're also going to notice um, more of a um, smoother taste because the only real benefit to aging cigars at home is um, um, on cheaper cigars. Uh, that's the real benefit to aging cigars at home is it really helps the cheaper cigars um, become more mellow and less bitter and less harsh. Unlike the more premium cigars um, that um, are already fermented enough, so aging at home again doesn't do a whole lot. But um, one to three years at home will will um, help it burn a lot better, um, a lot better, and um, and also will um, help a lot of the ammonia break down over time. So aging in the factory one to three years. Now a cigar that's been aged about one to three years is still considered a pretty cheap cigar, uh, not a super super cheap cigar, you know, but Mm, still in the ballpark of fairly cheap cigar. So, um, most decent cigars that have aged uh, fermentation time on them, not, not age time, uh, fermentation time, uh, are aged anywhere from, you know, two and a half to like five years. So, and uh, if you want to learn more about this stuff, I highly recommend you check out uh, Brian Glenn, CigarObsession.com, because um, he knows a lot about he knows a lot about the stuff. So, anyway. Yeah, cigars have been aged one to three years. Uh, cigars that have only been aged one, one and a half years is going to be still very bitter and very uh, harsh. Still going to have a lot of ammonia in it. But uh, a cigar that's been aged two and a half, you know, three years or so will be decent, you know, because I think about two, two and a half years is the, the timeline to get ammonia out of the cigar. And it's about four years for nicotine. So, and what that basically means is after the two or two and a half year aging window, um, there's really no ammonia in the cigar. And after, f I think, four years, according to Brian Glenn, um, there's basically no nicotine in the cigar. So, or there's almost no, no nicotine. So, yeah, after about two and a half to three years, uh, you'll notice some differences. Uh, it will taste a lot better, um, much higher quality. So, they're not bad cigars that are aged one to three years, but they're not super premium, you know, great, you know, wonderful, spectacular, but um, they're good. So anyway, give me your thoughts, uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Personal message, I'll kind of stuff to do your response if you want to. If you subscribe, bye.